Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. I'm Madam Yusna Liza. Welcome back. This is chapter 5 of the conceptual framework for financial reporting. And chapter 5 deals with recognition and de recognition. Chapter 5 discuss guidance on recognition process and de recognition of the elements in the financial statement recognition criteria and the recognition principles what is recognition recognition is the process of capturing for inclusion in the statement of financial position or statements of financial performance an item that meets the definition of an assets a liability equity income or expenses it is actually to include or decision to recognize a liability, equity, income, expenses, asset in the correct statements. Recognition involves depicting the item in one of these statements, either statement of financial position or statement of financial performance, either alone or in aggregation with other items. It should be done in words and also by monetary amount, including that amount in one or more totals in that statement. So that's why you can see that in the statement of financial position, there are subtotals as well as the grand totals. The amount at which an asset, a liability or equity is recognized, if you can still recall, in the statement of financial position is referred to as carrying amount or another term for it is carrying value so the carrying value of asset a liability or equity is recognized in the statement of financial position this diagram which are taken from the conceptual framework itself conceptual framework paragraph 5.4 is linking the elements of financial statement uh, which is the statement of financial position, the statement of financial performance, where whatever that will in the statement of financial position that is asset, liabilities, which is equal equity, because asset minus liability equal equity, will later be also reflected in the statement of financial performance. For example, the difference between income and expenses are actually the profit and the profit is an item of equity we, and that will also shows the changes in equity how much is the profit that are being distributed to the holders of equity claim how much is the contribution from the holder of equity claims which is the shareholder and in the statement of financial position at the end of the reporting period it will also still show the movement at the beginning of the year until what happened at the end of the year what are the net asset or the equity of the company let us look at the recognition criteria of uh, these uh, items in the financial statement according to the framework you can only recognize the asset liabilities equity income and expense only if the item met the definition we have already discussed the definition of the element of financial st step, state, uh, statement earlier on asset liability equity asset liability and equity will are to be recognized in the statement of financial position only if the definition of each of this ele item element has been met if the definition is not being met, there is no recognition in the statement of financial position. That is the first uh, recognition criteria. And for income and expense, this will be recognized in the statement of financial performance. Examples of statement of financial performance are the statement of profit or loss and the statement of cash flows. The second recognition criteria is only if those items there is a typo there please include l only if those items provide users of financial statements with useful financial information so the uh, items should only be recognized in the financial statement if that provides useful information 
which are in line with the fundamental qualitative characteristics, the two fundamental qualitative characteristics of relevance and faithful representation. Under relevant, the items should also consider uh, the uh, relevant information that may also be affected by some uncertain existence of asset or liabilities or whether or not there is a low probability or a high probability. Uh, if the, the uh, existence of the asset liabilities, for example, are uncertain, no recognition will normally be made in the financial statement and the uh, entity or the management will have to consider to provide information in the disclosure notes providing information wherever that is necessary or needed and applicable. Uh, relating to faithful representation is where recognition of an item may have resulted in relevant uh, items yeah, relevant items in terms of meeting the recognition criteria but at the same time faithful representation must also be achieved where recognition of item result in faithful representation of information that also may be affected by for instance uncertainty of measurement estimates remember uh, the um, uh, information provided in the financial statements are actually uh, dealing with a lot of estimates and that estimates is uh, part of the measurement process. So what need to be taken into consideration is that the entity should use reasonable estimates and a faithful representation will also be, uh, be affected if there is some kind of recognition issue or maybe improper presentation and uh, perhaps some um, uh, fraud that might lead to some kind of wrongful uh, disclosure of related information. So this needs to be considered so that the information uh, or the financial information would be uh, faithfully represented and now we are dealing with specific items of asset liabilities, income, expenses, and the equity. Next, what is more important is the management judgment that is required to decide whether the uh, items, asset liabilities, equity, income, and expense met the relevance or fulfill the relevance as the fundamental a criteria and also fulfill the faithful representation and at the same time a company also needs to consider the cost benefits uh, constraint on uh, recognizing item of liabilities asset income expense and equity uh, the cost benefits in terms of that the benefits should outweigh the cost of providing the information to the perspective of the reporting entity. Next is about the recognition. Earlier on when we talk about recognition is uh, the process of try to include if it's an asset a recognition earlier was the process of to debit the item. That is the process of recognition and of course there will be one more uh, accounts that will be uh, credited but here is the vice versa is the process to exclude if earlier you we have already bought the asset now what would be the criteria if we decide that we need to remove the asset so the recognition is the removal not only asset but removal of all it is not necessarily all the items or maybe just part of a recognized asset or a liability from an entity's statement of financial position. Removal. The term removal can either be removal of all or part of the recognized uh, items of asset or liability from the statement of financial position. And this removal is also called exclusion of uh, item you can also say to ex extinguish, to de-recognize or to eliminate an item from the statement of financial position, which is the asset or liability. De-recognition normally occurs when that 
uh, when the item no longer meets the, the definition of an asset or a liability. If the definition no longer meet the definition, when does that happen? For an asset, derecognition normally occurs when entity lose control. Entity loses control. For example, when entity decided to go and sell the items, which is, uh, let's say, um, a machine that belongs to the entity is now being disposed. If all of the machines are being disposed, the, the machine is considered as being fully derecognized. Or sometimes we may have two or three mach machines and uh, let's say there is an asset and we decide to just sell one of it and uh, part of the recognized asset has been uh, dispose or de recognize. Uh, sometimes that can also happen when there are donation of asset to another entities as well, or when there is no more future economic benefits that are expected from the use of asset. Next is about the liability. The recognition of liability normally occurs when the entity no longer has a present obligation. If you talk about taking a loan. Earlier, we will debit bank and credit bank loan. If the loan is now being repaid, that is the case where the, there is a transfer of economic resources from our entity to the other entity. And that action occurs, um, that it means that there is no more present obligation if we fully repay the loan. If we fully repay the loan, um, that is a derecognition of all of the loan. If we just paid part of it, that might be just the recognition of part of the recognized liability. And that normally happens, as I said, when items no longer meet the definition of an asset or of a liability. So the recognitions in terms of accounting requirement at the same time it is also trying to achieve the faithful representation and uh, both here relates to any asset or liabilities uh, retained or other event that led to the de recognition. If you look at the change in asset, what is more important after the de recognition, you need to consider according to the conceptual framework, what is the change in asset and liability as a result of that derecognition transaction or other event. What are the transferred components? So the entity needs to check what are the transferred components and or what are the derecognized components. Is it all or part of it? If everything was transferred, so there is no more uh, need for us to continue to uh, recognize. Uh, so everything was fully uh, removed. However, sometimes you will notice that there is some retained component where the entity just uh, transfer the resources to the another entity, which is to transfer uh, the uh, obligation, uh, which is to sorry to act, to discharge the obligation, and therefore what happened is that the uh, entity continue to recognize the asset and liabilities if what was being uh, transferred or being settled by the entity is just part of an amount. So therefore, entity will have to continue to recognize the remaining or the retained component of the asset and liabilities, right? So that's it. Uh, we are done with uh, chapter 5. I'll see you in the next chapter, chapter 6. Till then, have a nice day ahead and Assalamualaikum.